Hello, Craig Birch, Chunks and Tails, Dots Exhibition at the Cleveland's Arms. I'm happy to be with you, oh, number one, Mark McGee. Mark, back in Wolverhampton so soon. Yeah, loving it, Wolverhampton. Uh, it's been a good home for me before. So, yeah, I'm from coming to originally, so, yeah, love Wolverhampton. Yeah, start your US from Stockport, which is a nice, easy ride. Yeah, we're in Stockport, mate. An hour and a half from away, so, nice yeah. easy ride. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Grand Slam has just passed us. You were eliminating the group stages of that. Tough, tough group, though. This one, the way I played in the, um, uh, the Grand Slam, didn't show what I can actually do. Um, but looking forward to the uh, Finders and the Worlds. Yeah, yeah, the old Zelda Dive Masters. That's it. I mean, this is the business end now for video players. Even those two big, big tournaments leading into, well, leading through the new year, really. And uh, your video number one, it's your challenge to stay there now, isn't it? Yeah, it's an exciting time to. Uh for the video players, uh, the end of the season and uh, sub one we all look forward to. So we're we'll, we'll going to try our best and uh, I'll be practicing and uh, hopefully I'm going to pick up a couple of trophies by the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, I mean you're the video number one at the moment, yeah. even though Glenn Durant, the world champion, who's also here tonight. Yeah. It's been a great year for you on the floor and in televised events and you're number one for a reason. It, it started off really well, but I think that's the thing I backed this morning at the Grand Slam. I didn't show what I can actually do, but uh, I've been practicing hard and uh, now I'm ready to show them more and more number one. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we your status at the moment you're probably a good bet to go back to the Grand Slam of Darts next year and that's something you'll be keen to uh, it's meant to do better with next time. I'd, I'd love to go back to the Grand Slam next year it's gonna be a, it was uh, an eye-opener this year it was a real pleasure to play in and uh, I look forward to uh, going back there next year yeah yeah and obviously with your video number one status you'll be you'll probably be in the top seed at Lakeside and yeah, that's, yeah. Gonna, that's gonna open all sorts of doors for you perhaps. I hope there, yeah, I am, so I'm looking forward to it. All I'm doing is constantly playing my best. If I can play my best, I'll win the tournament. Um, but whatever happens after that happens after that. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the lake side. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be such a great field again. Does is obviously gonna look to retain his crown and you're the man who's number one who's gonna try and take his crown from him. You know, we've Martin Adams, all those normal guys in the mix. And... Oh we've got a lot of great players in the video. Martin Adams, Scott Wave, Glenn's gonna be defending, he's not gonna give up top without a fight. There's going to be a lot of competition there. You've got young lads coming up, Dean Reynolds, Nick Kenny, to name but a few, so it's going to be really hard this year. Yeah, I mean, it's debutants as well. I mean, Scotty Baker from just down the road, Jamie Hughes, both from Tips in there. Fantastic players, both of them, yeah. yeah. It's going to be really difficult this year. Is that your, I mean, is that your goal for, the, for going in towards February now? You want to win the, win the find the Masters, hopefully win the World Championship as well? Yeah, I take one tournament at a time, so I'm going to the Finners hoping to uh, play well. If I play well, I'll win it, so, uh, and then after that, I'll focus on the lakeside yeah. and go as far as I can off the game. Of Obviously, being video number one carries the pressure of people being expected to perform. It's a great position, but it doesn't win you the world championship. You're still going to yeah. go out there and do it, isn't it? No, there's a lot of hard work to do. Video number you know, one, one is. A very precise shot and I'm honoured to have it, um, but you've got to play well and everyone's out to get you, so uh, it's going to be tough. But I'm looking forward to the challenge, I've had it now for a few uh, months now, this video world number one. And I'm looking forward to the challenge, I'm, I'm always up for it and I'm honoured to actually be video world number one. Yeah, do you believe that Glenn that does this event to beat again going into this tournament as a defending champion? Me and him. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. I'm, I'm not too sure of the seeds. Will you probably land in separate sides of the draw? Is that something that's uh, yet to be decided? If, if me and Glenn win all our games, we would be in the together. But uh, I'm, I can't focus on what Glenn's doing. He can, he's not focused on what I'm doing. We're going to take one game at a time. I mean, look, uh, Glenn's been a fantastic world champion all year round. He's been absolutely amazing. And he, he's a really nice guy as well. He's so humble and everything. When he gets on the dark board, you see a different side of Glenn. He's just an evil, uh, he's horrible. And he tries to hurt you. Um, but off the board, he's a lovely gentleman. He's, he's not going to give that title up without a fight. He's been a proud world champion all year, and he's going to want to be a world champion again. Excellent, excellent. Well, it certainly would be interesting to pan out. Mark, hope you really enjoyed the exhibition. I know the fans here enjoyed it. We're really looking forward to the video tournaments coming up. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much, sir.